There has been a question that has been hanging over this presidential election this year uh, for a while, and it is, are there going to be debates? I've been on the other side uh, of the argument that debates are unnecessary with Donald Trump because he doesn't participate in good faith. He shows up with COVID, attempts to kill the, the, the future president of the United States like he did with Biden in 2020. Also, there's just a nature of presidential debates that are not informational. It's a Sunday, 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 come down to the monster truck rally. That's kind of the, the vibe of them. They don't get to policy. They don't get to actual differences between the candidates, especially when you have Donald Trump as a candidate, as a participant in the debates. Well, it was announced today by Joe Biden that he is willing to debate Donald Trump twice. And I'm going to get to this letter. There's actually a letter that buoys my spirits that maybe, maybe we are going to see a good debate this time. And Donald Trump will be further embarrassed because he, uh, it will, it will uh, outline his inability to function or speak in uh, specifics about what his desires are for the country since he's just a nebulous blob that yammers on. First, though, I want to show you this tweet from Joe Biden. Got a lot here. Uh, he tweeted this this morning at 8 a.m. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. Since then, he hasn't shown up for a debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. And it was accompanied by this video. I'm going to show you the, 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 the high-quality version, not the vertical video version. And then we'll talk about Donald Trump's response to this. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Ah, <laughs> oh, you like the little jab there? I hear you're free on Wednesday. Because <laughs> Donald Trump doesn't have court on Wednesday is the joke if you don't, uh, if you don't follow th these things that closely. So Donald Trump was on with Hugh Hewitt this morning, and he uh, wanted he, he was talking about the debate, wanted Hugh Hewitt to read his statement, was begging him to read my True Social, re read my thing I wrote on True Social. Have you gotten it? You get all the information super early. You should read it. You should read it. It's great. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty desperate. Uh, here that is, and then we'll get to the statement. Why don't you look at the statement? I just put out a statement. You should have it on your hot wires. You get everything. I notice you get things very quickly. I put it out on truth, and truth is the hottest thing right now. By far. I will go look that up. Let and me move on. If, take a look. if you, President do you Biden... Read that? Do you want to read it? Do you want to yes, read I it? Yes, I do. If I, if, I'll look and see if Jason sent it to me on the back yep. wire here. Oh, um, I see. Okay. I'll, lo I'll look for a second. <laughs> it's, on, it's on truth. Uh, it's the hot truth is the hottest thing right now by far when is MAGA world as an aside as a dare just d departure from the topic at hand when is MAGA world going to realize that not everything can be the hottest the best the worst the most corrupt the strongest the everything's the most with Donald Trump he has no ability to even think in a veiled uh, sense of nuance at all. Not even a shadow of nuance crosses his mind. Everything is the most or the worst. Uh, Hugh Hewitt didn't read the statement, but here it is for your edification or horror, whichever. Crooked Joe Biden, by the way, this is 43 minutes after Joe Biden tweeted that, uh, accepting two debates. Crooked Joe Biden is the worst debater I have ever faced. He can't put two sentences together, says Donald Trump, who has no mastery of his native tongue. Crooked is also the worst president in the history of the United States, quote, by far. You see it? By far. Just like truth is the hottest thing going right now, by far. Uh, Donald or uh, Joe Biden is the, uh, what did he say? the worst president by far. It's time for a debate so that he can explain to the American people his highly destructive open border policy, capitalized each word for some reason, new and ridiculous electric vehicle mandates, capitalized for some reason, the allowance of crushing inflation, 
capitalized for some reason. High taxes capitalized because he is an idiot. And his weak foreign policy capitalized for some inexplicable reason, which is allowing the world capitalized to catch on fire capitalized. I am ready capitalized and willing capitalized to debate capitalized Crooked Joe at the two proposed times in June and September. I would strongly recommend more than two debates for, and for excitement purposes, a, a very large venue. Although Biden is supposedly afraid of crowds, that's only because he doesn't get them. Just tell me when, I'll be there. And then of course, and I didn't even, I, this is not planned when I did the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday thing. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. So not monster truck. He wants to do fight night, I guess. Moron, to be sure. Now, the thing that buoys my spirits, the things that gives me a little hope is this letter to the, the Commission on Presidential Debates that was sent by the Biden campaign to them. They are an organization that has existed since the late 80s, I believe, to conduct and uh, monitor debates to organize them, to plan them, to produce them. And Joe Biden is sending this letter saying, we don't need you anymore. In fact, your, your efficacy has faded. Your usefulness has expired. Those are my words. I'll read a little bit from it, but I wanna get into the reasons why they are gonna get away from this format of debating. And it's a, it is a legitimate reason that is a cause for celebration. This is how the letter goes. Uh, dear Commission on Presidential Debates, President Joe Biden believes the interests of the American people are best served by presidential debates that offer timely and relevant information to help inform voters before they make their choices and to allow a head-to-head -head comparison of the two candidates with a chance of winning the election. To that end, President Biden recently say, said he intends to debate former President Donald Trump in 2024 and intends to debate him twice. Vice President Harris also plans to debate her eventual opponent. For his part, Donald Trump has announced that he is prepared to have these debates anytime, anywhere, quote unquote. The purpose of this letter is to provide notice that the president, meaning Joe Biden, will not be participating in the Commission on Presidential Debates announced debates in 2024 and plans to participate in debates hosted by news organizations. There are a number of reasons why the years-long presidential commission model for these debates is out of step with changes in the structure of our elections and the interest of voters. The reasons for this include... Now, <clears throat> these reasons are the thing that gave me hesitance about whether or not Joe Biden should accept to debate Donald Trump in the first place. First of all, just on its face, uh, uh, unrelated to this, is... Donald Trump refused to debate even his competitors in the primary. He's a coward. He cannot face scrutiny. He goes to make things a spectacle. So the fact that he wouldn't even debate in the primary should be reason enough to say, well, you're not taking this seriously. We're not going to debate you. But these reasons are, are, are fantastic. First, they write, the commission's schedule has debates that begin after the American people have had a chance to cast their, uh, their vote early and doesn't conclude until after tens of millions of Americans will have voted already. The commission's failure yet again to schedule debates that will be meaningful to all voters, not just those who cast their ballots late, uh, late in fall or on election day, underscores the serious limitations of its outdated approach. So uh, I agree with that. But it's not the main thing uh, that, that, that gives me, has given me pause about the structure of modern day presidential debates. And it's this right here. Second, the commission's model of building huge spectacles with large audiences at great expense simply isn't necessary or conducive to good debates. The debates should be conducted for the benefit of the American voters watching on television and at home not as entertainment for an in-person audience with raucous or disruptive partisans and donors who consume valuable debate time with noisy spectacles of approval or jeering. This is fantastic. 
How often have you watched a presidential debate and been bothered, been irritated by the fact that the crowd is gobbling up time that you could spend listening to candidates talk substantively about policy? This would avoid that. You're in a quiet studio with production staff, no clapping, no booing, no chanting, no bullshit. Just two candidates talking about issues that impact your life. You see, Donald Trump's not capable of that. The other thing is about the rules. In years past, Donald Trump, well, not in year, every single debate, Donald Trump breaks the rules, flouts the rules, runs his mouth when it's not his time, interrupts. And up to this point, no one has done what they should do, which is just cut his mic. You turn it off. And this is something that they could do. Third, and then we'll wrap this up. Third, the commission includes rules that candidates were called upon to follow, and yet it was unable or unwilling to enforce the rules in the 2020 debates. The result was far from, indeed entirely inconsistent with, the orderly and informative process the voters deserve in 2020, deserved in 2020, excuse me, and should be able to expect in 2024. Now, two dates, and then we'll wrap here, but there is a dig in this letter. I should have led with this to keep people around. All those people who aren't here anymore, they clicked off. <laughs> There's a great dig in here, but they're, they're proposing presidential debates in June and then in September. Tentatively, that's what they're looking at right now, but I love this sentence right here. The above describes what we will not do but to facilitate the establishment of debates, let me be clear about our intentions. We believe the first debate should be in late June after Donald Trump's New York criminal trial is likely to be over and after President Biden returns from meeting with world leaders at the G7 summit. <laughs> really drawing a, a, a stark distinction between uh, who the people are that are running for president this time. You got Donald Trump, who's on trial, criminal trial facing dozens of felonies. And you got Joe Biden, who'll be at the G7 working with world leaders to better the situation on our planet. <laughs> uh, and then they say September. And it's signed, sincerely, Jen O'Malley Dillon, president uh, or Biden for president campaign chair. Good news. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm just giving you the, 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 the rundown here with a little bit of color, but uh, I'd love to know what you think. Um, what is your take on presidential debates? Do you have the same frustrations I have? Did you have some of the same trepidations going into this that maybe Joe Biden shouldn't be debating Trump because it is just meaningless and his energies could be spent elsewhere? You can leave a comment below. We can have a conversation there. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. And I would invite you to help me make these videos, help support my work. Click the join button below for $1.99 a month. You can become a channel member right here on YouTube. You can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Same deal. $1.99 a month, you can help support this work, produce these videos, help me reach you know, 20 million people a, a month uh, with this information. I would appreciate it. Follow me on social media. If you share this video, tag me there. I would appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.